What's up, James? How you feeling? Oh, that's a, such an interesting question because I feel like I could always be like, I'm good. How are you? Honestly, I'm a bit overwhelmed. Why? What's going on? It's just like work and like life and like got to get my workouts, got to eat this, got to eat that, got to get these calls back to the text like yeah. immediately. Yeah. I feel that same way too. I feel like I've been so overwhelmed mm -hmm. with work lately, even though we're all working from home. The, like, I don't know what it is because we're coming out of the pandemic, but I feel like we're still in it and like transitioning back to real life. Like, right. what is that? You're the expert in this. <laughs> I mean, so I read this thing. It's like, we're like languishing. Uh -huh. is what the word was okay. because we're in this like in between space so it's like it's still happening but it's not happening but how do i think about the future yeah and i guess like timing wise it really just leaves us really confused so that's the overwhelming sensation right yeah. it's like productivity is on overload yet i'm doing my breathing exercises i'm meditating i am eating i am working out yet still feel like i'm spinning I know, I literally, let's walk over to the little pond here. Yeah. I literally am taking time for myself, doing the best that I can, but I'm yeah. still extremely exhausted. Yeah. yeah. Why? Help me. <laughs> like, you're, you're my therapist <laughs> right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, the funny thing is, I think it's, um, it's a digital addiction mm -hmm. that a lot of us are in and we don't even know it. Because I've found myself, even with all the tools that we both have, that I keep finding myself in this loop. Yeah. So it's like, it's the email trigger, it's the tech trigger, it's the social media trigger. And there are tools, but I just don't know if we are really trained how to use them. Like, there's no, like, downloadable guide. Like, oh, here's how you use Facebook properly. Yeah. Like, no one ever said that. Yeah. I agree with that. I mean, I'm trying to even, it's summertime. Mm -hmm. We're trying to like have a little break and I've never taken a break in 10 plus years. Like I go on vacation, but I've never fully done it. And I just booked my first vacation. Hey, 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 I need a, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's rad. So that's happening. But yeah, like what do you do? Because you manage so much with your job right. and looking after other people and being their resource. Mm -hmm. So what would you say? Honestly, I think it goes back to the cornerstone of like everything that we stand for. And it's the mindfulness piece. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm present in the moment, then I can't be overwhelmed, right? Yeah. If you think about it from a technical perspective. So if I'm here now, I can't be in the meeting tomorrow. Yeah. And I think it's just about like making sure that I'm anchoring myself yeah. in the experiences that I'm in. But then also a thing that I've had to get better with is the discipline to say no truly. I love so the word no. The mm -hmm. word no. My favorite word. I was so bad at saying no for so long. So let's talk about the word no. Yes. And it's not a bad word at all. It's like, a complete sentence, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not available. I can't do it. And it's okay within boundaries. Mm -hmm. Boundary boss. Yeah. Yeah. Go Terry. Um, <laughs> shout, shout out to Terry. <laughs> well, you know what? So, so I've been having these really deeply spiritual conversations that what is the root cause analysis for recovering people pleasers like me mm -hmm. or achievers like you, right? So there's some sort of root cause analysis in us that we feel like when we're busy, Right. We're again uh, from an a, adrenal perspective, mm -hmm. like we love that adrenal feel. Yeah. Right? But here's the thing. Most people with anxiety are super creative. A lot of people don't know that the most creative people on Earth usually have anxiety because of that immense creativity. So I feel it's like it's like channeling it properly. Yeah. I want to back up to um, overachiever. Terry Cole, psychotherapist, amazing. She yeah. said that I was a um, high achieving psychotherapist, or not psychotherapist, <laughs> high achieving um, uh, codependent. Ah. And I'm like, 
What is that? You got to go to the podcast.